Hello again and welcome back to another tutorial. For this one I want to look at increasing the contrast in your images but leaving the colour alone. Now this one's uh, quite a handy little one and uh, I, I don't use it that much but uh, it's quite useful to have uh, as a, an addition to uh, the Photoshop skills. So to do this what I've done is I've got up the um, horse egg nebula image again and it's, it hasn't got enough contrast in it but I'm happy with the colours so to alter the contrast but without affecting the colours this is what we do first of all we um, will need to create another duplicate image so we'll grab hold of our layer there which is our background layer drag it down onto the little onto the one next to the rubbish bin to create oh, bin to the there. start again scale image um, with this top line. So to do that we've got to do a, it's easy if we do a, a keyboard press here. So if we press control and shift and U all at the same time that will turn that into a grey scale image. Now we want to change the blending mode for this layer so we go up here to the blending mode box I'm going to change that to soft light. And what this does is it gives you plenty of um, contrast, but it doesn't change the colour. You can also try the blending mode up here, another one called hard light, which gives you slightly less, which is more. So if I now click the little eye icon next to that uh, duplicated layer, you can see the difference that that makes. So that's our first image, and that's with this method applied. And we've got plenty of contrast in the image now, but we've kept the colours. Now another thing you can do with this, if you want to apply the contrast in specific areas, is to use the hide all layer mask which I covered in um, my last tutorial. I'll just quickly show you that now so that uh, there's a refresher. So using the top layer here, we go over to layer, scroll down to layer mask and use hide all and that will hide um, the contrast effect we've got in there. And then to bring it back again over to the foreground and background fitness gear, uh, select your white foreground colour. Okay, and we'll just use your paintbrush. You increase your paintbrush size. And uh, you set the opacity and the flow to whatever you prefer. And uh, off you go, and then you just start painting. And you'll notice that when I paint, I'm starting to increase the contrast. doing that I'll just okay. so if I uh, now click that eye icon on that layer you can see what we're doing. And that that brings out the horse head nebula very nicely. It, it depends on how you go about doing this. Um, you need to be a little bit more subtle than that, it's a bit too harsh. But it gives you an idea of what we're doing. And again in the hide layer mask if I click the alt key and press on that. See 